What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Tracking Ace. Welcome in, everybody, man. Let's talk about Leaky Clever in this 400 meter final. Boy, oh boy, when I watch this, bro, oh my God, man. I could not believe the way this race went, man. I was, I ended up being so pissed off with Leaky Clever, man. Because, because she had it. She had third place in the palm of her hands, bro. She had third in the palm of her hands, bro. She let say the Williams steal that from her, bro. Bro, I was watching this, right? And Leaky Clever, the first 300, man, I was, it was a little bit shocking to see, but she was handling the first 300 so well. But immediately something went off in my head like, wait a minute, though. I think she went in a little too hard, though, in the first 300. Because when Natalia passed her up in Sadie Williams as well, I knew that maneuver. When I see that in track, I know exactly what that is. That's people not putting their all into the first, you know, 300 or so meters. And that's someone who put too much into those meters and we got what we got so man oh man oh man guys that's messed up that's messed up man Leaky Clever had third place in our hands man she ran a really good first 300 it really was looking like Leaky Clever had really figured everything out and I was like man bro I started to get a little bit concerned about Cash Merrick because she was ahead, the way she was ahead of her, I was like, man, but then when I saw Cash Merrick and Sadie Williams start to pull up, that's when I, like I said, guys, earlier, that's when I knew, I, when I saw that move, I was like, y'all, that's that move, bro. That's that veteran move. That's that not putting they all into the first 200, 300 meters. Because you can tell as the race is going too, nobody felt like they could catch Mary Lady Paulino. That's how I always had her winning the race. You could tell nobody was really thinking that they could catch her so the it, it looked like everybody had the eyes on like second or third place just trying to get on the podium and leaky clever like i said she made that mistake and boy oh boy oh boy she got gassed out she got gassed out man now look at the times on the screen man she got gassed out she didn't run the same race that she would that she won in the semifinal and Obviously, this gets a little bit more world-class competition, but even her time was not where I would have said it's supposed to be at for Leaky Clever. Like, 50.33? Nah, fam. When you just got a 49.87 in the semifinal, this is why when you run rounds, bro, you're supposed to run them. Okay, the heats, you just trying to qualify. Like, you don't even worry about the time at that point. You're just trying to qualify. Semi-finals, that's when you turn it on a little more, but you still don't put your all into it, right? You do something like what Paulino did. Paulino probably had the best rounds of anybody. You saw how her scores was, like they increased every round, right? You saw how her times were. Paulino ran every round the way it was supposed to be ran. You know what I mean? She had a 49.90 in the preliminary heats. Then in the uh, the semifinal, she went to a 49.54. Now she got all the way below a 40, uh, 49 seconds. That's how you're supposed to run this, bro. Leaky Clever got worse. And some of the other girls, too. Some of the other girls, too, who put their all into it. They got worse, too. Um, and, and that's, to me, that's the unfortunate part. Because... The semifinals was ran so great by so many runners that this felt a little lackluster a little bit because everyone was a little like everyone was just so far behind Paulino that it just felt a little bit lackluster. Uh, not for Cash Merrick and Williams, like they ran great. Everybody behind them started with Adeliki, Bolino, uh, Clever, McLeod, and Diggs. They all ran below where they ran in the semifinal, and so. Leaky Clever with that 50.33. That dog, she should have been under 50 seconds, bro. If she was under 50 seconds, she would have had four plays. Easily. Easily. 
She could have just ran the same time she ran in the semifinal. That would have looked good, even though she wouldn't have been on the podium. That would have been great for Leaky Clever to be like, okay, next year at the Olympics, if I do this or that, I can actually get on the podium. Or get, or, or, or you know, stay. But it's going to be tough for next year because you're going to have probably more than likely Cindy McLaughlin in there taking a the spot. Britton Wilson taking a the spot. She's going to be healthy. So it's going to be a little bit tougher next year. But. Man, oh man, oh man, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy how that ended up, man. Because like I said, Leaky Clever did such a great job in the first 300. But she didn't say the best for last, man. The, the last 100, man. That's where you're going to win the race at. When you go hard on the 100, bro. And I believe with the type of lead she had, the way she was running, she could have accomplished one of the two spots. The way she was running, or at least I got in fourth, I, I, I really believe getting in fourth was very possible for her. And also maybe being said of Williams, man, I think she could have ran under 49.6 today. She ran so fast to start. I was This is the fastest start I've ever seen from Leaky Clever. And just to see the way this went, bro, I mean, I, I, I'm just like, I, I'm not trying to be disappointed because I didn't have her b being on the podium anyways, but it's just when you see it, it's like, damn. It's like, damn. It's like, damn. Her reaction time was 0.145 as well. Man, bro. Uh Ah oh, man. <sighs> crazy man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I will say this, Leaky Clever has definitely the fact that we that I'm even talking about Leaky Clever this way, it means that she took another step this year. Another huge step this year. And she needs to continue to take those steps. She needs to continue to take those steps, man, because she has gotten way better. And it just, man, like, if she just could have did it, bro, if she just could have did it, we would have had something here. We would have had an upset, bro. But the top three went in the form. I said it would probably be Paulino, Cashmere, and I, and I really with third place, maybe Williams. Uh, Star Run reminded me about uh, Adelike, you know, being, you know, ran, running since January, bro. That college schedule, I had forgot, bro. I was like, yeah, she probably ain't going to be second. Because I had her in second. But the way it played out is the way I thought it was going to play out on the podium, though. The three runners that are up there, yeah. It was, like, I either had Williams either in third or fourth. It was one or the other. And then the, then the threats were going to be anybody behind her. But uh, Leaky Clever, man, I'll say, look, this has been a great season. If she still runs in the Diamond League the rest of the season, the wrap up the year, she should definitely use those rounds to correct everything that went wrong here. Because there's no doubt about it. Like, some of these girls are not going to be running in a race. I think she could win a race in there somewhere if she really focuses well. Because she has definitely become a different runner, bro. She has definitely become a different runner. And it, like I said, it reminded me of a Cashmere Glass season where she just started to find something. And if she can do that, man, she could consistently be under 50 seconds next season, man. So I'm very encouraged, you know, but today should have went a little bit different, a little bit better. But you know what? At least for her, she took a huge step this year, man, and did what she was supposed to do. Give me your thoughts on this, man. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to Jacob the Analyst's channel, man. Go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Um, like I said, give me your thoughts. I'll try to respond to them when I can. We're going to do Natalia Cash uh re Recap uh, the next video. So we'll talk about that next. Go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Y'all thank y'all for watching. Tracking Ace.